G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here and welcome to another episode. Now, today's uh, video came about um, while working with uh, a client the other day and they wanted to provide their uh, road, what they call road warriors, so people out on the road uh, working on projects, um, working on site, they might need to take photos or uh, do site inspections or even just uh, simply uh, add expenses and associate them to a, a particular project that they're working on. Um, now, while on their mobile devices, while we can access via the SharePoint mobile app, and they do use this a lot, we can access the documents uh, and the document libraries uh, for their particular team via that app, but we can't upload file, uh, files through that app. We can obviously upload files uh, through the OneDrive for Business app on your on your mobile device, so we can grab, take a photo and upload it that way. Um, but there's a little bit of a limitation there in terms of the metadata. So they wanted to be able to also use the metadata in the SharePoint uh, library and allow their users to be able to set that metadata when they upload the file. Now. As it turns out, we can put in a, a little bit of, implement a little bit of a workaround here where we can create a SharePoint modern page and embed uh, the document library on that page. We can access that, uh, that uh, page from your mobile device through the SharePoint mobile app, and we can actually upload and take photos from our mobile device from the embedded document library but we can also set the metadata. So let's jump in and take a look at how we can set that up. Okay, g'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Let's jump in and take a look at how we can set up um, and give your end users the ability to upload documents and set the metadata uh, on those documents directly from within the SharePoint mobile app. Now, um, as we, as you may know, you, you can access the documents uh, in your SharePoint document libraries from the app, but we can't upload documents. You can from the OneDrive for Business app, you can access your sites through there and your shared libraries, upload your documents, but we can't set the metadata. Let's take a look at a little bit of a workaround here that we can implement to allow your users to upload documents from the SharePoint mobile app whilst uh, having the ability to set the metadata, okay? So we can see that I'm in a, uh, a SharePoint team site. It's a, it's a Microsoft Teams uh, on the front end. This is the, the SharePoint site that's backing that team. Now, what we're gonna have a look at here is we've got, um, we've got a, uh, a document library called Expenses, all right, that we want to allow our users to be able to upload, take photos, upload uh, expenses to, and associate them to a, a certain project, all right? Now, we've, got, uh, we've also got a project register, which you saw on the home page there. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new modern page, all right? So let's just jump in here. We're gonna create a new page, and we are now going to just choose a blank page, and we're just gonna remove the, we'll just keep it as plain, because we wanna use as much real estate as we can, um, and we're gonna call this project expenses. Okay, now what we're gonna do in this instance is we're going to add the document library for expenses, this one here, and that's gonna add the expenses document library. Let's try that again, my mouse button didn't click. And we're going to choose expenses and it's gonna add that expenses document library into that page. Okay, now on the mobile device, what we don't want um, to have to really do is, is have that uh, horizontal scroll. So when we access this page from our mobile device, what we'll notice is that uh, because there's so many columns that have uh, been added to this view, uh, we'll get some horizontal scroll. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to um, edit this current view um, and what we might do with this view here is we're just gonna turn everything off and we're just going to leave the name of the document. So there's a single column there, all right, name of the document. This is just on this, um, 
on that particular view. All right. Now, what we want to do now is I'm just going to jump back into that page. So we're going to go into site pages. We're going to go to project expenses. And what we'll notice is that that view has now filtered through into, into here. Now, another thing we're going to do is we're going to promote this page and we're going to add this page to the navigation. So now what we've got is that page has been added to the left hand navigation and it gives us some easy access. Now, Let's have a look at how that looks inside of um, inside of our mobile device. So I'm going to flick over here to uh, actually a Microsoft Teams meeting. I'm joined on my mobile phone as well. And what I'm going to do, and I'm sharing my screen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into Mark 8 Project Team and I'm going to go to the navigation. And let's just refresh this. I'll jump into another site. Because we've just made that uh, made that new page, let's have a look and see how that, there we go. So project expenses is there now on the bottom. We're just gonna jump into project the project expenses page and let's take a look at what that looks like on the mobile phone, okay? So you can see here that's a blank page. We've got a single column, um, but watch what happens when we hit these three little dots. What we can do now is we can go upload, we can upload files, and now what that gives us is the ability to take a photo. So we can just take a photo now of anything, and we can use this photo. And now what's gonna happen is that photo is uploading to that document library, but we can select that document now, we can use the little information icon, and now we've got access to all of the metadata um, that we would normally see in our SharePoint in the in the browser on our PC. So we can now say, right, the expense type was meals, um, the amount was 200, and we can give it a title if we want, okay? Uh, so meal, let's just leave it at that. All right, so now what we've got is the ability to be able to access our document library from the SharePoint mobile app, upload that document into the document library, but we can also set that metadata, all right? So it's a little bit of a workaround, but it, it can be done. I've, I've seen a lot of people uh, create some specific uh, power apps and things like that to give us that functionality, but with a little bit of a workaround, we can implement that. All right. Now, something else that's a, 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 a common requirement is having the ability to associate things like this or expenses to uh, particular projects, for example. So as we, as we saw before, we've got a, a, a list that we're using to track our projects in this case, and it's called Project Register. All right. So what I'm going to do uh, on our expenses document library is I'm just going to add a new column here. So I'm gonna to go to library settings and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a new column, all right? So we're gonna create a new column and we're gonna create a new lookup column. And we are gonna look up um, the values from that project register list, all right? So I'm just gonna select project register. We're gonna add that, we're actually gonna add that to the default view and we're just gonna okay that. So now when we jump back into our uh, expenses document library, we've now got the ability, now I'm in the browser here obviously, we've now got the ability to associate this actual expense to a specific project like so. All right, now let's take a look and have a look and see what happens now on our mobile device. So we're back in uh, in Microsoft Teams here, and let's now have a look. We'll just refresh things out, and we'll jump back to the project register. And you can see now that we've got, we do have a little bit of a, a horizontal scroll happening there, but what we can do is we can now go, let's just take another photo. So I'm gonna upload a new file. I'm gonna take a new photo and let's just say it's a it's a document like so let's take that let's use it um, and we're just going to replace that at the moment and what we can do now is we can still select this select this document we can use the image 
the information, but now we can associate that to a project. Okay, so again, a little bit of a workaround. We can use and we can implement uh, that um, uh, the ability for your end users out on the road to be able to upload documents just via the SharePoint mobile app uh, by creating a modern page, embedding a document library onto that page, uh, and then adjusting a couple of things that will allow your users to be able to uh, to have that functionality. So I hope that brings you some value. A little bit of a, a little bit of a specific use case there, um, but uh, I hope that does uh, bring value. If it does. Uh, share that amongst your colleagues. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my email newsletter, uh, make sure you head on over to SharePoint Focus, pop your email address in, jump on the list uh, where I'm bringing uh, value to everybody every single week as well. So get involved uh, and I'll see you in the next episode.